what we shall find at the LHC may well, 100 years after Einstein had revolutionized our notions of space and time. My name is uh, Tijinder Virdi. I'm a professor of physics at Imperial College, also at CERN, and I'm the spokesperson of the CMS experiment at CERN at the Large Hadron Collider. The spokesperson is the project leader of the experiment. We shall be doing uh, physics at the special energy scale, which is a factor 10 higher than has been pre previously achieved. Uh, we shall be looking for many, a wide range of uh, phenomena. Uh, let me pick three that we might be looking for. Uh, one is uh, the mechanism for uh, generating mass or the origin of mass. And we believe that the Higgs uh, mechanism is responsible for generating mass. Now, mass is something quite fundamental. It is what gives matter substance. So we contain particles, or we have particles which have mass. If there were only massless particles, we wouldn't be here talking today. So that's one thing. Uh, another thing is we're looking for new symmetries. Uh, one symmetry uh, is called supersymmetry. It predicts that all particles that we know of have uh, associated particles called superparticles or superpartners for an electron would have a superelectron. Now, in this uh, series of particles, the lightest of these could be a particle responsible for dark matter. Dark matter was essential for the formation of galaxies about a billion years after the Big Bang. So we know dark matter exists. We don't know what it's made of. So one of the things that we should be looking for is what is the nature of dark matter. Uh, without dark matter, galaxies would not have been formed and we wouldn't be here talking. Now, there are other conjectures. Uh, for example, we live in more than uh, four dimensions. We live in ten dimensions. And there will be telltale signs, perhaps, of uh, these extra dimensions which you might see. There are many other things that we should be looking for to understand how nature has solved the problems that are, exist in the standard model of particle physics at this uh, special energy scale. How are we going to do this? We have to collide protons at very high energies. To get protons to go at very high energies, you need an accelerator, and that's the Large Hadron Collider. So the Large Hadron Collider provides us with beams of very high energy protons, uh, running clockwise and anticlockwise. And the protons collide in the heart of these experiments. One of the experiments is the CMS detector, which is called, uh, it uh, stands for compact muon solenoid detector. The protons hit head-on. In fact, it's the constituents of the protons that hit head-on, which are quarks and gluons. And they actually create a subset of reactions or events that would have been taking place in the universe one hundred or one thousandth of a nanosecond after the Big Bang. So we're going back in time, creating uh, the conditions of uh, the universe at that time in a controlled way and looking for what are the particles that existed at that time and what are the forces that existed at that time. All the expectations are that what we shall find at the LHC may well, 100 years after Einstein revolutionized our notions of space and time, could alter our perception of how nature works at the fundamental level.